Hey you guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be an exciting one. We're going to be reviewing the brand new, the much anticipated launch of the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair Cream. I don't know about you guys, but I was so excited when I saw this initial launch. I could not wait to get my hands on this and mainly to see if this would compare to my favorite moisturizer because we all know, I know you guys know, you guys are skincare junkies like I am. You do not need to spend a ton of money on a moisturizer. I've worked in a hospital for 15 years and I have never seen anything other than a petroleum based ointment or a silicone based ointment be ordered for um, any kind of skin condition. Maybe they add an anti-inflammatory or an antibiotic if there's some kind of infectious process going on. but. You just need a good occlusive moisturizer or a good, or a good occlusive barrier and that's going to heal the skin. And if there was some miraculous healing ingredient out there, doctors would be prescribing these ingredients and there's just not. All we need is a good occlusive layer and the skin will eventually repair itself. And when it comes to repairing the skin, the skin ultimately increases its collagen and it increases its elastin. There's other ingredients that can help that along like um, peptides we know can do that, obviously retinol and AHAs, but you have to be careful careful with, with especially AHAs and retinols with an already compromised skin barrier if we're talking about skin healing. Now when it comes to anti-aging skincare we know these ingredients are great but really if you're looking for an occlusive moisturizer in your routine, something to seal in the rest of your serums, the rest of your active ingredients, the strength and integrity of your skin will always ultimately improve. If you're just using a good occlusive moisturizer you could grab a tub of Vaseline and it's going to do the same thing as these expensive moisturizers. With that said, you guys know I'm a product junkie. Um, I like to test these things out and report back to you guys and let you guys know if these products are worth it. So today we're going to find out, is the Tatcha Indigo Repair Cream worth the $88 and are there other moisturizers? Enter my other favorite moisturizers right now. We're going to see how it holds up against my other favorites and which of my other moisturizers is closest to the Indigo Repair Cream. But first, I'll fill you guys in on all the details of this cream, how I enjoyed it, um, how the application went for me, and then in the end, I'll let you know which moisturizer I think is closest that I already have in my collection to the Tatcha Cream. So we have a 1.7 fluid ounce jar. It's a nice weighted jar, and it comes with a super cute little gold spatula. I always appreciate these details. However, I do wish there was a magnet in the jar that would keep keep this with the jar because I'm always losing these spatulas. The cream, the instant I felt this cream, well, was I impressed. But first let's talk about the details. So this is marketed as a serum in moisturizer moisturizer. Um, what that means, hard to say. I guess they're, I don't know if they're talking about the fact that there's active ingredients in here and it's going to give you the same benefits as a serum kind of confusing. Now I will say, I'll talk about the application, how this felt on my skin. It does feel like you layered 10 serums on your face, the way this gives this like wet look, this slick to your face. So maybe that's where they're going with that. This is fragrance free. It's a soothing serum and moisturizer that visibly calms irritation, strengthens the skin's barrier, and balances the microbiome so you can awaken with healthy looking, radiant skin as strong as you are. And it says it's marketed for dry to mature skin, for uneven texture, for sensitive skin, and good for fine lines and wrinkles. Now I'm getting this from Tatcha's website, of course on Sephora's website, for some reason it says the, not the opposite, but it says it is good for all skin types. And they did do their own clinical study and 95% showed an improvement in their skin's radiance, 88% showed an improvement in the skin's softness and suppleness, and then after 4 weeks they said 100% showed an improvement in the skin barrier strength and 100% showed a reduction in fine lines and wrinkles. And then some ingredients to highlight, we do have dimethicone second on the ingredient list, so that silicone is going to aid to that that soothing that rich feel and it does have like a heavy silicone feel and then a little further down four ingredients down we have this uh, Tatcha complex that they're known for they call it this Hadassi 3 complex you'll see it listed as Saccharomyces which a little trick here anything that ends in a Myces that little would you call it a suffix? I think you would call that a suffix. Anything that ends in that, um, think of that as a yeast or essentially a fungus is really what it is, but any yeast in skincare is going to have some great moisturizing capabilities. So you have 
you have that yeast in here and then you also have the green tea and then this rice ferment filtrate is part of this Hadassi 3 complex that Tatcha is known for. And then right after that complex you have glycerin, you have some glycols, so you know some nice moisturizers, the propendiol. And then we have ceramide in here as well, also linoleic acid, both great for strength, strengthening the skin's barrier. So some really nice ingredients. I would say they are the main highlights. We have vitamin E. Um, some nice things. There's also mica in here all the way at the bottom, so that may add to some of the glow that this gives to the skin. And with that said, let's talk about my experience with this. So when I first applied this, I was immediately impressed with the thickness of this and the silkiness. This truly does feel like a cushiony cream. Like that is the best way to describe it. It almost, oh man, it's just it's so thick, but not really bomb-like. I'll talk about how it compares to the pharmacy. This is more of like a buttery serum. Super soft cream. It definitely has some stiffness to it. The richness of this cream is apparent as you're rubbing it in because it's almost, not that it's tough to rub in, but it has a little bit of a tug to it as you're rubbing it in. It's not super water-like whatsoever. Um, you get an immediate dew to the skin. It immediately makes your skin look so it gives that beautiful sheen, that beautiful glow to the skin, almost that luminosity. It makes your skin look immediately healthy looking. And that was the most impressive part. I was so excited when I saw the way my skin was glowing in the mirror, just that immediate bounciness to the skin. Now, as the night went on, I could not help but touch my face. There was so much tack that was left behind. It literally felt like an oil slick on my face. Now, this dry skin gal does not not mind that but if you're not a fan of those like heavier moisturizers I don't think you're gonna like that that slip that this leaves on your face even in the morning I still had a little bit of uh, let's call it silkiness left behind there was a little bit of a slip to my skin still even with sleeping through the night my face kind of stuck to my pillow too so I know a lot of people are turned off by that but again with my dry skin I kind of appreciate that that heaviness I would say this cream is equivalent to slugging your face. I don't know if you guys have heard that term yet, but it's the term that people use when they apply Vaseline all over their face to just get a good barrier on their skin. And it's just like that. It's, it's it just feels like you have like a thick layer on your face, which is why I cannot use this as a daytime cream. It makes my sunscreen slide around. It never gives that dry down time where I feel like it's not ultimately diluting out my sunscreen and also with my foundation as well I cannot wear this under makeup it's just way too heavy and again it makes my foundation slide around as well so it's a good overnight moisturizer for me it's nice and heavy it does the trick it really makes my skin glowy in the morning and nice and bouncy it's just it's really thick so I think my dry skin friends out there my friends that have more mature skin that are ultimately looking to target their fine lines and wrinkles that are hoping to seal in all their serum. It's nice to see the ceramides in here. I love seeing that. The linoleic acid, great for repairing the skin. They, it has this Japanese root extract in here, which can actually be a good source of resveratrol, and that is known as a great antioxidant for the skin. Um, but I don't know. I wanted to see more out of the ingredient list. As far as my results go, um, I did like the brightness I had in the morning. I do find that this does smooth my skin, and I do feel like there's been an improvement in the firmness of my skin, but I don't think it's from any miraculous ingredient in here. It's ultimately just an awesome overnight moisturizer that's going to moisturize your skin. It's going to plump out your skin. It's going to give you bouncy skin. Promise you that. will resurface your skin and do what a retinol can as far as plumping out collagen, if you're not gonna no, you're not gonna get that from this. It's ultimately a good heavy thick moisturizer That's gonna do the trick. It's gonna moisturize your skin. It's gonna plump out the skin It does give nice bouncy plumpness to the skin I really did love the results of this the next morning when I woke up even even the first time I used it Usually the first night I can know if I'm gonna get along with a moisturizer I could not stop looking at almost like the tops of my cheeks. I'll insert a picture My skin was just so I had like this radiance to my skin it does there's something special about this but for $88 I really don't think it's worth it so let's get into my other moisturizers which one I think would be most comparable to this one so first let's talk about the pharmacy since we were just talking about this I think this one is more worth the money I think you're gonna get more bang for your buck out of this one you're gonna get that nice spatula with the magnetic top and this is a little bit thicker than the Tatcha this has more of a bomb like feel it literally feels like melted butter on the skin and you're gonna get ceramides out of that this moisturizer as well um, I don't feel like this is 
as moisturizing, however, as the Tatcha, but this is a really good, nice, thick moisturizer. I would say this is for dry skin. This would be for super dry skin. And then next up, let's talk about the Verst Cream. I love the Skin Soak. This is such a beautiful moisturizer. They have since changed the packaging, by the way. This is more of like a hydrating cream. It's gonna give, it's more of a gel to cream texture. Definitely not as heavy feeling as the Tatcha, but it gives the same amount of hydration. You're just not gonna get that like stickiness that the Tatcha give. This is a little bit more of an emollient feel and it gives just the amount of same amount of hydration. This is just a little bit more pleasing to use, I would say, but if you want a thicker moisturizer, this is this is definitely thicker, but you will get the hydration from the Verse. And then a new one that I've been trying out, Dr. Dennis Gross, the Exfoliating Moisturizer. I wanted to mention this because this has AHAs in here, and this has such a beautiful consistency to it. It's kind of more of a liquidy. You can see it's definitely more thin. It goes on a lot more silkier, easier to rub into the skin, much more quickly to absorb into the skin as well. And it leaves like a nice silkiness behind. It does leave a glow too, like the Tatcha. I do, I feel like the Tatcha is more moisturizing, um, but I appreciate that there's AHAs in here. So you're getting that, um, that exfoliation factor from this, but also with the moisturization. So you're getting even more skin, skin benefits with the Dr. Dennis Gross. And it's, I don't know, it's very pleasing to use. I like that there's not like a heavy feel to this that's left behind and it's it's so silky on the skin. I've really been enjoying this. This is cheaper, it's $68 um, and I like that you're getting a little bit more bang for your buck with the AHAs. The only thing though, there is fragrance in here so if you are sensitive, this may not be for you. Although my, can, my skin can be sensitive and I never got any kind of redness or irritation from this. The scent is very pleasing, it smells it's a little on the fruity floral side, nice and light. They didn't, they definitely didn't go overboard with it. And this also has ceramides in here as well and squalene, but it's again, it's not as thick as the Tatcha. And then the Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Cream, a favorite by so many. This is just a, hands down one of the best moisturizers at Sephora. I think it can go across all skin types. This is a gel to cream texture, so it's definitely also lighter than the Tatcha. You're getting peptides in here. You're also gonna, getting ceramides, but you're getting more, you're getting seven peptides actually in this product so a lot for your money with the drunk elephant as well um i don't think this is as great as a sealant as the Tatcha is this is more definitely more occlusive than the polypeptide and this is more like an instant burst of hydration feel more like i don't know it just feels like your water is just getting pushed into your skin when you use this moisturizer whereas this you can tell it's just kind of holding everything in while it's repairing your skin at the same time this is just more what you would think of as an overnight repair cream just because of that thickness and then a newer moisturizer that you guys know i was just talking about in my empties video i also did a sponsor video with beauty pie this is actually very comparable to the tatcha i wake up with a little bit of that like slippery feel to my face with the beauty pie which i appreciate with my dry skin now if you're oily again this might be a little bit too much for you but this was very comparable to this Still the thickness, that cushiony feel is a little bit different with the Tatcha, but the overall result is pretty similar to the Beauty Pie. So this is, I feel like, one of the most similar moisturizers that I have in my collection to Tatcha. But you guys, are, your minds are gonna be blown, I think. The number one moisturizer that I think I get, I really do get the same results. I get that, like, that nice velvety feel to my face when I apply it, that velvety feel is left over in the morning, I have that glow, and that is with the Dermide Sika Barrier Sleeping Pack. This is um, a K-Beauty brand, you guys all know Purito, they had that big sunscreen scandal last year, but I have to say, I feel like, I don't know, I think everybody's sleeping on their moisturizers. Their moisturizers are so good, and this one um, is no different. I think this one is the best. I've tried both the Centella and the, um, oh, what's the blue one, the Deep Water Cream. This one is by far the best, especially if you have dry skin. And this is packed with so many great occlusives in here. There's sunflower seed oil, there's also a hoba seed oil, and squalene. So I think that's why you get that occlusiveness with this. And also that, almost like that oily feel in the morning. Sometimes I hate to say oily feel, but it, it's a pleasurable oily feel, I should say. It doesn't feel heavy in the morning, it just feels like you have a little bit of a slip to your face. There's also ceramides in here, there's sodium hyaluronate. Um, it's just packed with so many great things. There's Centella in here, so you may get some brightening from this. Fragrance free, it's 
does the same exact thing as the Tatcha does. Again, same pattern here. The Tatcha is still going to be thicker. It still has more of that heaviness to it than this does, but the same results. Like my skin, that slip is the same in the morning. It feels like my skin was ultimately just repaired overnight. It's and guys, this is around $20. You cannot beat it. You can buy it on Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. It's a great buy. One of my favorite moisturizers. I don't talk about this enough, <laughs> but this is really great. And I would say this is similar to the Tatcha. You got your ceramides in here and you're gonna have that occlusiveness with this moisturizer. Just a beautiful cream. So definitely try this out. And I will say, if again, if you have super dry skin and if you have mature skin, you're trying to target fine lines and wrinkles, I do not think you will just be disappointed by the Tatcha cream. If you're a luxury skincare fan, I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's fragrance free. It has this beautiful silkiness to it. It's heavy. It repairs the skin. It's everything you want in an overnight repair cream. It's just like how it's marketed. Um, but for $88, I really just don't think it's worth the price. And again, I found other moisturizers that do, do really the same for me. So yeah, while this is a treat, I don't think I would repurchase it, but if you're a skin junkie, I do not think you would be disappointed in this. So that concludes this video. If you want to treat yourself, go for it. This is a beautiful cream, but there's so many other great moisturizers out there. Um, speaking of moisturizers, let me know some of your favorites down below. I'm always looking to discover a new moisturizer. It's one of my favorite skincare products to try. I think mainly because I kind of know instantly if I will like the product. Um, it's not one of those products that I really have to test for a long time. I should say too, I don't break out easily. I haven't had a breakout in a long time. My skin has been extra, extra dry. So that is one thing I can't really attest to with the Tatcha. I, I only used it for a few weeks now. No breakout so far, but um, this is kind of, essentially my first impression with this so I just wanted to put that out there as well this is not a long-term test so I know some people don't like first impressions with moisturizers but um, anyway leave your your favorites down below I'd love to hear from you guys and thank you guys so much for watching you guys are the best and if you're not already subscribed I would love to have you we do lots of skincare chatting over here and also makeup thrown in here and there too some hair care um, so I'd love to have you guys and thank you guys for watching I will see you guys in my next video bye guys